Welcome back everybody. I'm glad to see you here again. Straight off the top, number one thing I wanna tell you is subscribe and also click the notification bell because there is going to be a bonus video this week and I don't want you to miss it. So if you don't click the notification bell, you won't know when I upload videos, which means in turn, you would miss the bonus video and that would just be a tragedy. Now wouldn't it? Today's video is all about hair and specifically, I wanted to talk about the natural hair journey that I've taken. So this isn't more of a, this isn't really like an advice, I guess. This is a let's just talk it out. Let's just talk about something. So this is one of the topics that I wanted to talk about. The journey started in around 2011-ish. I had a short haircut, I was getting relaxers, and I decided to grow my hair out. At that time, I also was having difficulty finding a stylist that I really liked, and so I figured getting a sewn was my best option. Because, as some of you may know, some of you may not know, in my real life, well, this is real life too, in my professional life, I am a news reporter. And so, you know, having a style that looks good on camera and is maintainable is really important in my line of work. Because I couldn't find someone that could do a great job with the shortcut, I said, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and get her sewing. And at that point I was like, what's the point of getting a relaxer because my hair is braided anyway. I never really had a thought or a serious back and forth within myself about debuting my curls on air because I did not know how to do them. So for me it wasn't like, ah, they're not letting me be me. I, for the most part, always wore my hair straight. Even though I didn't have a relaxer, if I straightened my hair, I felt like it was more manageable and easier for me to do. And so that's just always what I did with it. Where the bubble kind of burst was when I was working out for our wedding. I was working out five, four to five times a week, which is a lot. And I had a sewing at the time. And my scalp, this is probably TMI, but my scalp sweats really easily and really quickly. So when I work out, my scalp is always sweaty. So we've got sewing on one hand. And on the other hand, we're adding in sweaty scalp. And you know what that makes for? That makes for a tart, tart little smell. It wasn't that bad, but I asked my husband one day, I'm like, do you, does my hair smell kind of off? to you and he was like not you know I didn't really notice it but when we were close like when he really got up in it he was like yeah it's definitely a little bit of funk up in there it's a bad situation but that's when I first decided to wear my hair natural on air over the summer I was mostly doing like buns like a low bun situation or a low ponytail where I just kind of like scrunch a little bit but I didn't know what to do with it so that's when one of my friends stepped in, shout out to Tawana, hey girl, and she showed me how to do a twist out. The only problem I have is that I have some heat damage from sew-ins, so some of the parts in the front are a little straighter, and I have like eight different textures in my hair, so like the back of my hair doesn't really get that curly, but the middle, like this part, oh buddy. You will break some combs in there. <laughs> Recently, I discovered Flexi Rod Sets, and that has been a style that has worked out really well for me, especially being someone who is an on-air personality and also not wanting to spend a million hours on my hair every single day. This is kind of how I've been rocking it the last couple weeks. Um, this set is kind of nearing its end, so you see I've like pinned this part back a little bit. Um, I've got some good curls still going through the middle. I just kind of wanted to talk about the natural hair journey and start a conversation here about it because I'm kind of new to this. So I'm still looking for styles and products and things to try. And also I just wanted to say like, don't be afraid to try something new. It is scary. You know, I first took this set out and I was looking at it. The very first time I did it, I was like, I don't know, do I look dumb? Like, does this look 
like okay because you're so used to seeing yourself a certain way um but now i love it i'm like this is a great way to switch it up and give my hair a break and let it be its healthiest in this decade let's be fearless let's not be afraid to try new things if that's something with your hair or your makeup or whatever it is don't be afraid to just step out there and try something new if you have any suggestions on different styles to try products to try methods to try i'd love to hear them and i'm so excited to be a part of the naturalista community please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell because like i said there is going to be a bonus video and i'm not telling y'all when it's dropping so if you don't click the bell then you're not gonna know you're gonna miss out you're gonna be late to the party so please subscribe please click that notification bell and i'll see you next week